Welcome back, everybody. So for this three-part assignment, we will be digging deeper into the historical context of art and finding art from specific timelines. Now, you can see here, this is just a glimpse of part three of our textbook that gives us its own timeline. And what I want you to do is think of this as a research paper that's broken down into much more manageable sections. So instead of giving you something that you might procrastinate on or get overwhelmed by just with the bulk of the assignments, we're going to just do little mini papers that we can collaborate on together. So hopefully this gives you much more control over these assignments and prevent you from, you know, getting burnt out before final exams even happen. So again, what you'll do is you're just going to find something from this timeline that interests you. And if we go back to our assignment instructions, you can see the references that I've listed for you down here. Now, the one that I use the most in my own research is ArtStore. This is an online database that is probably the largest other than Google Arts uh, and Culture, which we've used quite a bit in the course already. And the nice thing about this assignment um, is that you can break it down into specific timelines and you can find the citations and other sources on there for you. So it's doing a lot of the work for you for this assignment. You can also use the Met timeline here. The only thing with this one is that it's only gonna show you images that are from the Met Museum. So it can be a lot more limiting, but I find there are articles and other references on there to be very helpful. Getty Museum one is also helpful. I don't use it as often, but you might find some use with it in this assignment. So if you have any problems with this, please let me know. You will need a login for Art Store. So if you need to, you can contact Ronald Russ at uh, the library at ASUB. He's the head librarian. He should be able to get you access to it as a student. If not, we can work something else out. I just need to know if you're having problems. So on Art Store, you can see this is the main page here. And this is very easy to use. You can either browse through it if you're not sure what kind of timeline you're looking for. Or if you select something from that timeline, you can just select advanced search. And for my example, I had East Asia Song Dynasty. So I'm just going to type in Song Dynasty. I can even add the date here. So I had 960 to 1279. You can break it down if you want a specific art medium or location, you can do that as well. And this is going to pull up anything that you can use for this assignment. So we're just going to be looking for two to three artworks that we are going to do a formal analysis of. And for this one, I would dig deeper into what the Song Dynasty is doing at this time. What are their cultural practices? How do they relate to the art? And for example, I can select an image. Gives me a good amount of a description right here that I can work from. So we know this is a deity. So I can look into the religious practices of the Song Dynasty in China. And it gives me all the information I need for referencing the art. You can even download the image. So you get a high resolution image to put into your assignment and share on whiteboard. And then you also have a cite this item option here that gives you all of the sources that you can use um, for your final paper. So with this, you will need to choose a citation style. I prefer the Chicago Manual of Style, but I know you may not be as used to using that one. It's pretty specific. So you can use APA or MLA, whatever works for you to prevent any plagiarism. That's the only thing I'm really worried about with that. Now, when we go back to our assignment here, when you're eventually finished with your formal analysis, it's not very long. It's very similar to our practice essay. You can upload that. And then you'll also just share your images on whiteboard. So here, I really just want you to share a little bit of information about what you have. I'm not expecting you to put your whole essay in there or anything. But I want you to put a little bit of information that could possibly inspire another student, give them a little snippet of what your research is. And then you can just place the art images where they would be location-wise in the world. 
So if you have any questions about this assignment, please let me know. I'm very happy to help you. And I look forward to seeing what you select for it.